Thank you for tuning in to Entertain the Geeky, your source for nerd news. Guys, what's going on? Chris and Roger here. Hey, Christopher. Hey, Roger. Um, we're, we're, we're Entertain the Geeky, I guess, and we're going to bring you the latest in nerd news. I mean, there's not a lot this week. No, this week was kind of dull. There's a little bit, though. So, let, let's hit the big news in my, in my wonderful world first. Shoot. X-Files. X-Files. Start of the casting process for the second revival. Ah. Ten episodes coming late 2017, early 2018. Woo. Like, I have a full-on dirt boner right now. Full because, on. one, the, the first revival was actually good. Yeah, I know it left us on a crappy note. Like, like the, eh, whatever. But overall, it was nice seeing these characters back. Uh, uh, Julian Anderson did Covney jump back into their roles, and I'm excited to see the continuation. Okay. Um, that's big news. Second big news. Do you hear who's coming back for Jurassic World 2? Oh, yeah. Yeah, who's coming back, Chris? I can't remember his Jeff name. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, that's it. He's, <laughs> and he's in Guardians as well. He's in, yeah, whatever. We're, we'll get to Guardians in a second. So Jeff Goldblum is going to reprise his role as Ian Malcolm. I, well, I'm, see, I'm a face guy, not a name guy. So, like, the name... Yeah, we know. Yeah. We, 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 you know, we should play that game again. Yeah. We're going to play it tonight. Um, so... I don't know how what this means though, like because the whole point of Jurassic World was to kind of scrap some of it just, was well, everything but Jurassic Park. Yeah, because right? they didn't mention the Lost World at all, so I don't know if if, if Ian Malcolm's going to be like, oh, I've been to both islands and ha ha ha, you know? Or maybe he's just going to be like, yeah, I remember when all this shit went down. Oops. You know Never. the best part is when Chris cusses, like Chris instituted a rule on the news app that says that we don't curse. Yeah. That way I it just... can be played in and like you know with kids around, and every episode. Chris will drop a bad word. And then it just means that it's free range after Yeah, that. after that it's After that it's, it's just, you know, fuck this, fuck that. That's yeah. how it goes for that's, us. That's entertaining geek. Because <laughs> Chris can't keep his shit together. No, I can't. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this means for Ian Malcolm's character or, or Jurassic Park in general. It, I, I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that they let some stuff just kind of be dead. Like Jurassic Park 3? Yeah. Though Jurassic Park 3 wasn't that bad. <laughs> It's actually a decent movie. It's a cute little action by, flick. By itself, it's okay. It's a lot better than The Lost World, because that movie... The Lost was, World was bad. The, the Lost World was awesome, up until the T-Rex went through San Diego. I mean, Godzilla! Yeah, it was It was just It was just done after that. Basically a kaiju movie at that point. Uh, it was bad. Bad, yeah. bad. And we, we have Carl the cosplayer and level one Judge Kevin Freeman here that are sitting there being quiet on their phones. No, we, he doesn't exist this episode. Oh. So he's not going to talk. Kevin said he doesn't exist. So Carl can talk. Say hi, Carl. Well, hello. So Carl, you excited for what happens on Friday? Uh, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy comes out. That's pretty exciting. You were about to say that's fucking exciting, weren't you? Not really. I oh. had chicken in my teeth. She had chicken in her teeth. Yeah, I called her out at a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> She's um, like, I'm sitting here eating and Chris is a dick. <laughs> yeah, uh, so Guardians of the Galaxy, gonna make a lot of money? It's gonna make all of the money. Oh my gosh, it's gonna make all of my money. All of your money? Yeah. Since you have a job now, you can. You I can, know. You can actually go <laughs> and see these movies. Exactly. Carl, Carl's full blown adult now, functioning member of society here. Like, Just got a new car. I got a job. Did you? What'd oh you get? What, what? Hold on. Nerd news. What? What car did you get? I'm not I'm gonna, gonna say that to a bunch of people I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> asking for your license plate. I thought it. Yeah. But seriously, what's your license plate number? Just so the fans know. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> She's like, I think it's four. Yeah, it starts with a four. That's it. <laughs> like a picture. I think there's a hieroglyphic on it. I'm not quite. Sure there's a positive. smiley face on there. For sure. <laughs> yeah, they they have these new license plates that have emojis on them, and mine's just all poop emojis. Oh, that would be, oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> Speaking of emojis, our our personalized license plates. Yes. In Canada, I think it was Canada. There are some bullshit country at this point. Uh, someone had a license plate that said "Assimilate," which was you know in <laughs> reference to Star Trek. Star Trek, yeah. And 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 he got a letter from the count from from the government saying you need to not have this as your license plate. Someone was offended by this. Or what, they're going to assimilate him into the government? Right, I was like, wait. So, yeah, apparently you can't have that in Canada. Now, actually, okay, let's go to real news here. Design and specs are revealed for the Gypsy Avenger Jaeger in the upcoming Pacific Rim Uprising. Oh! Yay. Just get more Godzilla and I'll be happy. Shaq Fu sequel coming to the Nintendo Switch. Wow. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, do you remember how bad Shaq Fu was? No, man, I didn't mess with it. You didn't mess with it? Okay, it was like Street Fighter and, and Mortal with Kombat. Shaquille O'Neal. But bad. <laughs> Thank like, God. It was a horrible, Are horrible all fighting the game. the characters Shaquille O'Neal just in different outfits? No. Okay, so apparently the storyline is in order to save the world, Shaq knew Kung Fu. <laughs> and he had to fight in a tournament. 
So he's so 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 you're playing like like, like Shaq is Liu Kang. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's Mortal Kombat, but with Shaq. Um, oh, no. no release date yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Guys. I want to know like when people are sitting down and they're like, "Hey, I've got this great game idea." What the fuck possesses somebody to be like, "I'm gonna do it with Shaquille O'Neal"? Well, Come keep in mind, theme. keep in mind when Shaq Fu came out, Shaquille O'Neal was like, he was in his, you know, pinnacle or whatever. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's unacceptable now. It is. Let me ask you a question. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show these off to the room here. Uh, would you? Would you? Would you buy that plushie? Nope. No way in hell. Would you buy that plushie? That looks like the devil. Um. What? It's an alien plushie. Hold on. Oh. Know. There you go. I mean, it's kind of cute. I would buy this plushie. So Hallmark is releasing alien plushies. There's a Ripley and a Xenomorph plushie. Hallmark. Yes. That's. Right up their alley, you know. Yes. You can get your precious moments and your Alien. face hugger in the same spot. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're getting a Star Trek themed Monopoly game that can be played in Klingon. Aptly oh. titled, aptly titled Monopoly Klingon. Oh, clever! Do you yeah. even know how to speak Klingon? Yeah. Well, it comes in both. Do you, uh, okay. Kapla. You're you're a Trekkie. Yeah. Can you speak Klingon? Uh, a little bit. I actually do have the Klingon dictionary at home. Just because you have the dictionary doesn't mean you can speak it. So will you, you babble on in the savage tongue a little bit? No, we're good here. No, no I'd like to hear something. It's like, oh, thought about it. Yeah, it's bad. Like, Maybe I'm into that. Well, you might be. I don't know yet. Well, you know what? I'll bring the dictionary over. Well, we can figure out We will phrases. find a nice boy that'll yeah. whisper sweet nothings sweet and Sweet nothings Klingons. and Klingons well, in your ear. They, just... they don't do sweet nothings. They would whisper, like, battle cries. They would it's scream a, battle cries in your face. It's a lot of yelling. Face. It's a lot of yelling. like, So, so no, no, no. Here's what we're going to do. Next time you're on the show, Carl. I'll bring over the Klingon dictionary. Mm-hmm. You pick a phrase you want to hear in Klingon, and we'll do that. Asymmetrical dick fingers. <laughs> All right. Remember that, Chris. Write that Write down. down. <laughs> um, in other news, HBO is pulling all their shows from Amazon Prime. Write that down, Carl. Asymmetrical, Asymmetrical dick, dick fingers. fingers. In Klingon. Um, no, don't touch that. Yeah, that's important. No, it's her soda. <laughs> I was messing with her. It's just water. Oh. Yeah, so really, guys, honestly. What's the alternatives? There was not a lot of news. You know this what? Week. Yeah, there's something that I take issue with that happened this week. Oh, McDonald's is getting rid of the orange high C. Time out. Fuck that. <laughs> Time out. Okay. Do you care? Yes. Do you care? Yes. Why? Because once every like month, I get a hankering for them, and I have to go. You get one. can still go to the grocery store it's and buy high C. It's not the same. You it's can not still. The same. No, it is not the same thing. I, yeah, you know what? I, I'm so tired of this fake internet bullshit rage on this. Hold on, time out. I enjoy that. You know when we did the uh, Ecto Cooler High C episode? Yes. I was more excited about the McDonald's one than the Ecto Cooler one because um, it tastes better. Um, that's because we were doing a taste comparison. Yeah, and one. So better. yeah, McDonald's is getting rid of High C, but they're bringing in some Sprite flavor. Oh, Sprite! You know, here's the thing. Everyone's up on arms saying that like, oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna love, I'm gonna miss the High C. If you guys bought high C as much as you're bitching about online, they wouldn't be getting rid of the high C. I still get it once a month. Once a month. That once a month is not enough for them to care. It should be. It's not. Go to the grocery store, buy your high C in the little pouches, and be I happy. get it for my chillins. Your chillins can drink Powerade now. No, they can't. That's got electrolytes. Forever inscribed. <laughs> it, Carl actually has cool handwriting. Um, also, we got a new shark movie coming out with Mandy Moore called 47 Meters Down. Oh, yeah. Which looks... Have you seen the trailer for this? No. Okay, they go cage diving, and the <laughs> line breaks. Oh! Yeah. It looks really good. And they're stuck at the bottom, in shark, great white shark infested water going, hmm. Yeah, this movie looks really good. Did they throw chum in the water? Of course they, they did. they did. Yeah, how do you get the sharks to the boat? You're cage diving. And then you they're like, look at the that sharks. injured fish swimming toward the surface. Yeah. And like the line, yeah, the, 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 she's like, okay, we want to come up now. And they're reeling her up and the line snaps and she just plummets. And then the sharks are like, hey, look, chocolate chip cookies in a cage. You know, it would be, uh, yeah, no, okay, let's talk about sharks. Let's do it. Because those are evil. Sharks are not evil. You they, shut your face. They're completely they're evil. evil. No. Come on, time out. Like, do you, do you know where you're not in your element? In fucking water. Yeah. Says yeah. the man who owns 20 snakes. Yeah, I can outrun a snake. <laughs> Any snake, I can outrun them. I doubt with, that. Without a shadow of a doubt. No, no I can. Fastest no. snake moves about 20 miles an hour on land. It's actually 17, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I you can could outrun, outrun that bitch. I don't think I can outrun that one. Gonna, I know I can. We're going to have to see. We will clock that. At my fastest, whenever I was on the soccer team in high school, 
I sprinted 17 miles per hour. Because your shit's weak. <laughs> <laughs> your shit wasn't so weak. Sorry, Carl. Um, right. I didn't know you were a grass fairy. I used you, to You be. mean a soccer player? <laughs> that's what I said. Yeah. I um, was the goalie. I got to goof off. Oh, that's why you couldn't <laughs> sprint. She was like, I was the goalie. I could sprint 17 miles an hour in my heyday. Well, you didn't have to. You stood in a small box on the field, and you were like, I can get over there yep. with one hop. I can punt the ball real far. She's good at punting. Yes. Um, but no, man, they, they, they terrify me. Uh, like, I'm not really scared of aminals except for those. Why? You Like, first off... I have to be in their uh, element. Okay, okay, here's the thing. Right. Snakes can get you on land or in the water. No, they can't. They love me. Okay. Sharks can only get you in one place. Yeah, in the water. You know what? You go to the ocean, you're having this nice vacation, okay? And you're in water that's about knee deep. Bull shark comes and bites your calf muscle off. Okay. Hey, I'm walking in the woods. I'm happy. I'm lucky. Oh, rattlesnake bites me. Rattlesnake, there goes my leg. Rattlesnake doesn't bite Chris. They say, hey, friend, put a leash on me. Take me for a walk. <laughs> I don't think that's what they say. Take me for a slither, bruh. <laughs> um, all right. Good new show catchphrase. Take Wh- us for a slither, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen King, back to the news. Chris, <laughs> Stephen King's Firestarter will be re- remake will be directed by... Akivia Goldsman. Did you see the original Firestarter? No, I did not. Yeah. I'm not. You know, I'm not a big Steve King. Uh, yeah, he he has some good shit. He's got his he's got his hits and he's got everything else. Uh, Boondock Saints Origins TV prequels happening. What? Yeah, don't care. Um, I saw a picture of uh, Gamora eating, and it tickled me pink. <laughs> so you know they've got Zoe. What's her last name? Zoe's last Zadell. Name? Zadell. Zoe whatever. Zadell. Um, and she's in full Gamora makeup. Obviously, she was on a break or something on set. And uh, she's eating, like, food with a knife and fork. And it was hilarious because you don't really picture Gamora eating. But I got to see it firsthand, and it made my day. Did it? Yes. I was like, ha! Ah! Hey, you want to hear some good news? Mick G is no longer directing Masters of the Universe. Good. It's going to go is? to somebody. Um, I don't think it's been announced yet. I know the it's supposed to come out next year. You know, I, I, I would like... Jack Black to direct that. No. That would be hysterical. Jack Black, no. No. You know who I wanted? Oh, it's uh, David S. Goyer. Oh, well then... Batman that's, Begins, that's Man a, of Steel. That's acceptable, too. Yeah, we're good with this. Yeah. We're good with this. Um, So, Alien. They had a big Alien Day this week. Yep. Did you see any of this? Um, I caught about 30 seconds of it. Oh, man. So, Ridley Scott released a little video yep. that is like five to ten minutes long, bridging Prometheus to Alien Covenant. Yep. And it, it, like, I don't know if it answers questions. It creates some. But it does create a lot yeah. more. And hopefully the movie will handle that. Ridley Scott also kind of pissed on our dreams. We're never going to get an Alien 5. That's all right. He's going to go and do what he wants to do with the franchise. That's what he should do. Except he's talking about using a digitally de-aged Ellen Ripley. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not cool with that. I don't care about that. I That's do. fine. Uh, here we go. How do we miss this? Call of Duty World of War? World War II? Yeah. Boo? Boo? Why is Boo? I've never liked that game. Call of Duty mm-hmm. or World War Two? Call of Duty. I'm just making sure, because yeah. if you don't like World War Two, oh no, my grandpa's in World War Two. I'm pretty okay. with Like it. he's in World War Two, well, like, like right now, because you're was... super German. Yeah. What side was he on? <laughs> <laughs> you know how she doesn't answer. <laughs> he was on the American side. Oh, okay, that's good. Hey, guess what? He the was first on the beaches. He was on the beaches. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Get... He stormed the beaches in Normandy. Yeah. Holy shit. Like I'm, Can we have him on the show? He died when I was 12. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could. It just takes a Ouija wow. board and a lot of weird things. You feel like getting possessed? Nope. All right. Here we go. The first teaser trailer for the new Tick show is here, and guess what? There's August- going to be a Tick show? On Amazon. Yeah. What? What rock do you live under, Carlisi? Um, All of them. I live under a mountain of rocks. You haven't? You didn't see the, 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 the pilot? Hmm. Do you have Amazon? No. Okay, spend 10 bucks, get Amazon. Okay. Watch the Tick pilot, and then on August 25th, you can watch the first season. Ooh. You have a full-blown job, so you can do this. You can do this. Here, after this episode, I'll show you the, the teaser trailer that came out. Well, all right. Um, AMC renews Into the Badlands for 16-episode third season. Ooh. I haven't watched Into the Badlands. I hear good things, though. Did you see the trailer for Cars 3? Yeah. It looks depressing as it hell. It does. You know what? You know what I want to talk about? You started watching my note our yeah, that's not news, though. We can it, say it is, that. It is to me. Okay. Okay, go hey, ahead. How about no, this? We'll, we'll talk about it later. How about this? Fine. Shane Black confirms the Predator will use practical effects instead of CGI. That's awesome. God damn that's right it is. That's how it should be. Damn right it is. Is it going to be cutting off actors' feet and shit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It they might were like, no, we put real bear traps there because <laughs> it made for a better movie. <laughs> the sound was more authentic when it snapped shut. All right. That yeah. Re- that reminds me of the uh, Christopher. So Christopher Lee, while he was on the set of Lord of the Rings, um, they were they were told he was told something about somebody getting stabbed, and they're like, you know, make it sound like you're getting stabbed, and he's like. I've heard someone being stabbed in the back. In the back, have yeah. you? Yeah, because he did it. In World, he was. He was, he was in World War Two. He was a secret. He was like like the. He was a hero. Well, yeah, no, he was. He wasn't like he was like special forces. Yeah, in World no, War he was II. a fucking beast. All right, um, M Night Shyamalan announces his Unbreakable and Split sequel will be called Glass, Ooh. and it's going to be based around Samuel Jackson's character being back out in the world, real world. I really liked Unbreakable. Unbreakable is a cool flick. Uh, Courtney watched Split yesterday, and what I caught it looked really good. I just slept through most of it. Uh, George Miller offers updates on Mad Max Fury Road sequel. Says Doof Warrior will return. I didn't know they were doing a sequel. I kind of hope they wouldn't. I need... Uh, Mario's everywhere right now. Mario is everywhere right so now. I went to I went to Target today, and at Target... Um, Outside, you know, Target puts those giant cement balls there. <laughs> yeah? Did you, did you try to jump it? And... No. No, I, I can jump those. Okay. If I'm lucky. And, uh... You're going to outrun a 17-mile-an-hour snake. I'm listening. I can't, dude. Don't you doubt my power. You underestimate my power. Okay, but, um... <laughs> one of them was Mario, the other was Luigi. Did you post this on Facebook? I don't think so. But I was stoked about it. No, I definitely did not post that on Facebook. Um... Oh. Because I was, I was out with the kids, and I don't normally take a lot of pictures. Or I, I just kind of try to enjoy family time when I get to hang out with them. Aww. Oh, yeah, Sappy. so cute. Well, no, like, okay, so when uh, family and stuff comes in town, and we go out to, like, eat dinner or something. Because anytime my dad comes in town, which is every couple of weeks, but it's exciting nonetheless, we all we all uh, go out to eat a, way too much. And Denny's is, like, the spot to go. Mm. So we go hit up Denny's, and everybody sits there on their phone. And I, I like, look at everybody. I'm like, get off your fucking phones. <laughs> Enough. We are enjoying a nice meal at this <laughs> fine dining establishment. <laughs> They've got one and a half stars, damn it. Oh, my God. Real quickly. Real quickly. So you know how you're really excited about Spider-Man being in Avengers 4? Yeah. You realize all Avengers 4 is is part two of the Infinity Yeah, War. Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, the title is Infinity Gauntlet. Zoe let it Zoe slip. Zoe let it slip. Probably yep. while she was eating that delicious meal. And she goes, huh, yeah. So yeah, it's not like Spider-Man's going to be in more movies. He's just going to be, you know, finishing up the storyline, which means he doesn't die in the first one. We'll see. Oh man, if they kill him, that'd be so cool. <laughs> okay. Ser- no, seriously, hear me out. That'd be badass. Kill him and then, like, let him go do his own thing? What if the fucking Phoenix Force killed him? Like, they but show up in Infinity Gauntlet. Whatever. Gauntlet. I'm done with the really freaking... Cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Stupid Good old Sansa. Phoenix Force. Stupid. All right, guys, stupid. I need you to do me I'm not up. done. Yes, we are. We're 20 are we? minutes in. Yeah. Are we? Good. Guys, I want you to go to beastescaperoom.com, enter the promo code geeky, get 20% off your next escape room experience. Oh, as for Ronnie Cobb, when you get there. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's he's the dude. And then go to entertainthegeeky.com. Eventually we'll have stuff up there. there. I mean, there's a couple of things up there, but I want you Much to use like it our social media. as a link to our social media. Click that like button, comment, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. I want to talk to you. And I actually, I haven't told Roger this yet, so we'll do it live on the air, because he loves it when I do this sort of thing. He's pregnant! Are you? Well, yeah. Um, it's not mine, right? I use protection. <laughs> and you said you were on the pill. I'm not. Damn uh, it. <laughs> I took an aspirin. <laughs> um, I'm trapped. I can never get out. No, uh, so I want. So I, I bought a blank puzzle today. And what? I bought a blank puzzle. It's a what? puzzle with nothing on it. What? And here's what we're going to do. Okay. I want one of you guys to send us an email at entertainthegeeky at gmail.com telling us why Roger and I should send you a customized Entertain the Geeky puzzle that him and I are going to hand doodle. Um, I can only do stick figures. Well,. You better draw the best damn stick figure ever because one of these lucky sons of bitches is going to get it. Or a daughter of a bitch. Um, one of you is going to be... Why do mamas got to be bitches? One of you arseholes. <laughs> one of you nerds. guys is getting this thing, okay? So I want that email. Send me an email. Tell me why you should get it. I'm going to post the winner on our Facebook page and on Twitter. Um, I, I Man, I want a good story. Give me a good story why you should get this thing, and it's getting sent to you. I will not post pictures of it. I want you to post a picture of it after you receive it in the mail. Also, Ronnie Cobb, special note to you. Uh, your shirt should be in in about six weeks, just so you know. Guys, stay geeky.